Team reporter Olivia Landis here with quarterback Sam Darnold. Sam, the first win of the season, it took 13, 14, excuse me, games to get there, but you guys finally were able to do it. You saw that victory formation there at the end. What did that moment mean for you as the quarterback of this New York Jets team? Yeah, that's everything. I mean, the effort that our guys, you know, put forth every single week, our coaches, um, it means the world to us. And to be able to celebrate in the locker room after, I mean, that's what you live for, you know, as an NFL football player. And, you know, it's it's an amazing feeling. And um, but, you know, we're excited to, you know, get back and get back to work. We got a we got a tough, uh, tough game ahead, you know, in the Browns. And we're excited for the challenge. Every week, it seems a lot of the players, including you and the coaches, talk about how hard this team worked and how people didn't see the work that was put in and the adversity that the team was going through to get to this point. So now that the team was able to finally get the first win of the season, how much does it make all of the adversity worth it? Yeah, I mean, it definitely, you know, feelings like this, being able to go in the victory formation and take a knee at the end and, you know, celebrate in the locker room afterwards with, the, with my teammates and with the coaches. I mean, that's what you live for, like I said, and, you know, it makes it all worth it. You know, we got great guys, resilient guys in the locker room. I've been saying it every single week. Um, and it showed today. Sam, there were a lot of great plays that you can point to in today's victory. You had Marcus May there with the pass deflection at the end. You had Braden Mann, who got the tackle there that saved you guys. Frank Gore with that first down that helped secure the victory. For you, what do you really point to as what went right in today's victory? I mean, offensively, I just thought we, execute the game, we executed the game plan. I mean, you know, and we were consistent with it. I think that was the biggest thing is, you know, we came out um, – you know, and we executed, you know, especially against the Seahawks, we executed the first drive. And then after that, it was just a lot of inconsistencies. And so for us to be consistent all all game, that was huge for us. And especially against a, a really good Rams team, we knew they're going to fight back even when they got down. And um, again, just super proud of the guys. You know, it was, a, it was a great effort. And Marcus on the fourth down, you know, made an amazing play. He made up for the drop pick that he should have had. And uh, mm -hmm. Braden, man, I mean, what a tackle, you know, sit, you know, Almost, probably play the game if you look at it. And Frank Gore, I mean, I can't talk enough about that guy and, and how special he is. So um, for him to be able to run the ball at the end there and, you know, be be right where he was supposed to be on the check down on that last play, um, you know, he's an amazing person, amazing player. And, you know, I'm just happy to happy to be able to play with him. I mean, he's he's a great guy and a great teammate. Sam, you yourself had a very solid performance today against the Rams. The Rams defense ranked number one in the league, and you completed 22 of 31 passes through a touchdown. You had 202 passing yards. What went into this week's preparation? Yeah, I mean, everything. You know, we, we know every single week our coaches, you know, us as the players, we're going to give our heart and soul into everything. And that's exactly what you got, and we came out with a win. You know, again, in football, you know, sometimes it doesn't work out. Um, but we have a great group and we're resilient enough to know that, you know, it was going to work out one week. And, you know, it was just so happened to be this week. And we did a really good job of, like I said, executing, executing the game plan. Sam, I know that, you know, when you ask players, where does this team go from here? Everyone's like, well, let's look at the next week, the next opponent. But from your position, what do you tell, what is your message to everyone on the outside who has had a lot of doubt or had a lot of negative things to say about this team? Where do you guys go from here? What is from your position? What's next? Yeah, I mean, like I said, we got a good Cleveland, Cleveland Browns team that we got to be prepared for, and that's it. I mean, we're not focused on anything else. You know, it's, it's the same every single week for us. If we focus on something outside of that, um, you know, we're just thinking about too much. You know, as football players, we're very simple. It's uh, it's week by week, and we study our opponents, and we know them inside and out, and we're, you know, we're going to attack on Sundays. And that's what we do. We're going to continue to do that. Congratulations, Sam. You guys have a safe flight home. Thanks.